Hello and welcome to the video. This is a video about pitch and throttle curves. This is something that can be a little bit confusing when you come into the world of collective pitch helicopters because normally the way that we change how much thrust we get from a motor and a prop like on this little Armantine quad is we just spin the prop faster. So by increasing the throttle we increase the lift or thrust that we get from the blades. However, in a collective pitch helicopter like this one, there are two options. We can both increase the speed of the head, the speed that the blades rotate, but we can also change the pitch as well. So if I move the radio over to the side here, let me just insert a picture, a close up of the head of this particular helicopter. Again, with the blades removed, because we don't want to accidentally start everything. The radio at the moment is in idle up, which gives us the maximum uh, range of movement in the swash. As I raise the throttle, watch what happens to the swash plate. And if you watch what's happening, as that swash plate is risen and dropped by the three servos that are connected to it, the linkage, you see it's actually rotating the blade grips. So it goes from a negative value, which gives you very aggressive negative pitch, which will make it descend very, very sharply, through to about neutral at 50% throttle, up to positive, full positive pitch, which will make it ascend very quickly. So not only is the throttle controlling the speed of the rotor head, it's also controlling the pitch. Now, I need to say a very big thank you to Steve at Scotia RC who supplied this OMP Hobby M2 helicopter for this series. There's lots of other videos in this series. So if you are interested in modern radio control helicopters and learning some of the names that are used in this part of the hobby, then go and check it out. So let's have a little bit of a closer look at the radio. Now, I will just jump into the model setup and zoom across. These settings for both the throttle, for both normal throttle and idle up, and also the pitch throttle are very different. So before I look at this, let's talk about what normal modes and idle up modes are. So you'll hear helicopter pilots talk about normal mode. Now in normal mode, the throttle works as almost a straight line. So in the low position, you don't have the head moving at all, and then it speeds up as you increase it. So if I uh, make the throttle live, then what I can do is as I increase the throttle in normal mode, the head will start. And then it will continue to increase. And then I can also stop it as well. Let me put the throttle hold back on. Always a good tip. Now, that's because this throttle curve starts at zero, goes up. It could be almost a straight line. It could be whatever you want. But the key is when the throttle is at zero, the throttle on the model is at zero as well, allows you to stop the head. Now, in normal mode, you also have a pitch curve that looks like this as well, which in the middle position, the 50% position, if I just pull this to the side again and do that insert, as I increase the throttle, and the throttle won't start because we've got throttle hold on. If I take it to the 50% position, I've actually got a very slight positive increase in the blades. So I get lots of positive increase from the middle position to the top, because that's that part of the curve there. See that? Quite a bit of positive pitch change. But from the middle position down, I only get a very little bit. And the reason that that is because that's shallower. And this is what you tend to use in normal mode. So you tend to have a throttle that looks like this and or something similar, typically a straight line with a bit of a kink in it. You have something like a pitch curve that looks like this that gives you a little bit of negative pitch at the lower levels that allows you to descend in windy conditions. You need a little bit of negative pitch just to help you do that. And then you have the ability to have an awful lot more pitch as you go to the top. Now in idle up, again, we need to make sure we have the throttle cut set. Let's put it in idle up mode. Idle up. Idle up mode or 3D mode uses a slightly different throttle and pitch curve. So the idle up throttle looks like this. 
So rather than it go down to zero, the throttle is always at a high level. And it typically looks like this smiley face because at each extremity, we're going to be putting in the maximum amount of pitch and you want the maximum amount of energy going into the blades. So the rotor head is going to be screaming away irrespective of what position the throttle is. But if you look at the pitch curve, the pitch curve becomes a straight line. Now on the model, if we just look at it again, uh, we have a much lower uh, pitch value. So it goes quite down quite a bit up to the middle position, but where the blades are pretty flat or zero pitch. And then at the top, we have about the same. Now, typically on a helicopter, you're going to have something like plus 11 degrees positive pitch to zero to minus 11. And this allows you to do full 3D. Why would you want negative pitch of that amount? Well, it means you can do things like fly upside down. You can do very aggressive stops and you can do all that stuff as well. So that is the relationship. The throttle is doing two things on a collective pitch helicopter like this. It's giving you the throttle, which allows you to speed up and slow down the motor, but it's also adjusting the pitch on the blades. And that's how those things work together. When you actually get your helicopter, you'll find that you'll end up buying lots of extra gadgets, things like this. This actually measures the pitch on the blades. So the way this works is that when you are setting things up, uh, if you want to, you can buy something like this, put it on the blades themselves, and then you can measure the actual pitch changes so you can set up the head perfectly. With this M2, it comes pretty much ready straight out of the box. And with the linkages, if you set them up as per the video, then they are set. So hopefully that's interesting and explains if you're not sure about what idle up 3D normal mode is and also what pitch and throttle curves are. Hopefully that's a little bit clearer. Thank you for spending your time today watching that video. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you're trying to learn about a subject, then check out the playlist. All of my videos are organized into easy to follow playlists that if you're trying to learn a topic, will take you from the basics right the way through to some pretty advanced stuff.